We're here at the Washington Post. I'm Chelsea James. And I'm Robert Samuels. And we're going to give you a little preview of what to watch for as the U.S. Olympic team heads to Pyeongchang. I think, first of all, that there's really one primary medal hope for the U.S., and that is Nathan Chen, 18 years old, I think, first Olympics, and a ridiculous, prolific jumper? Yeah. Figure skating in the men's field has been all about the quadruple jump for the past 10, 15 years. And what makes Nathan Chen really distinct as a figure skater is he can do a quadruple jump using five different entrances, which is more than any other figure skater in the world. And because he has that sort of arsenal, he is able to manipulate his programs in a way that's a little bit more wily and a little bit more versatile than any other skater he competes against. That always makes him a contender for the gold medal, particularly if someone gets nervous and they mess up. It kind of depends on the day. Some days it's super easy, some days it takes a huge toll on the body, but in general, you know, you're putting basically all of your exertion into one split second moment right before you take off the jump to try to get maximal height, maximal snap. Really it feels exhilarating after you land it, you just want to do it again. And the other two members of the U.S. men's team, Vincent Zhu, Zhao, Zhao and Adam Rapon. Um, Vincent is more of a jumper that can maybe almost keep up with Nathan, but not quite. Yeah. And Adam Rapon is sort of the, the more artistic, I guess you would say, not known for his jumping at all and, and will admit that. Um, and therefore, maybe at a little bit of a disadvantage you know, in terms of metal hopes. Well, Adam Rapon has sort of emerged himself as the big celebrity skater of the games. And that's really exciting. And on the ground, he does really spectacular things. He's able to, he does really wonderful footwork. His programs are very well thought out. The short program has sort of like a clubby Euro trash feel, <laughs> yeah. which is like really yeah. fun to watch. His long program sort of sedate and very balletic and very ethereal. Vincent Zhao is a bit of an unknown commodity. He's the world junior champion. He has not performed very well on the senior level, but he also can land lots of quadruple jumps. The thing is, it's almost the opposite of Adam Rapon, right? Because Vincent Zhao, he does not have that same sort of polish, that same sort of maturity, the confidence to do the really fancy footwork, and judges will dock him in the scores for that.